Hello, everybody. It's me and the wifey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I did the dye, and uh, actually, I kind of screwed up a little bit. It kind of turned out another color, and it didn't come out like it was supposed to. So, you know, I'm uh, I'm gonna have to do it next time. But I did at least get it done. Um, I'll have to do it next time the sinful silver it turned out more like a blonde color but it does kind of in a way look silver yeah it does so yeah it does it does kind of in a way anyway it's something different i told y'all i would do it i did it um i couldn't go uh couldn't wait any longer i wanted to go ahead and do it show you guys i, I i'm just gonna keep my word but um as you can see it came out great uh, somewhat way <laughs> it's uh couldn't get the whole thing but it at least did come out you know something different um yes it's a mohawk everybody yes it is a mohawk you know I wanted to try something new this time um still the motor is uh in a bad shape and I got the battery charged up somewhat uh, I'm not gonna do too many videos today I'm just gonna do this one real quick and I'm gonna try to see if I can get some things done um, I am paying attention to this and it looks I could have well I'm just gonna turn it off yeah I'm gonna have to let it go off I'm trying to charge my other phone as well to a point to where I can have it it looks like it is trying to charge up quite a bit uh, pretty fast um this one charged up to almost 50 percent but it's probably dropped down to probably at 46 or 45 uh i'm keeping my promises as i told everybody so but uh as for the uh other things i'm going to probably put on hold for a while but me and Jennifer did figure out that we are going to either order a REM pod or we're going to order another thing to see if we can capture what's in the van. Um, that is the first step right now. I want to see if there's anybody in this van. I want to see if there's anybody uh, in the section. Um, I had, uh, unfortunately... I'm going to show you real quick. I had to tape up the window because my window is stuck down a little bit. A little. And as you can see, there's a bad storm coming this way. Well, it's not too bad. It looks like the, yeah, the clouds are. There's the rest of the clouds right there. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's done, everybody. It's done. It's, I, I mean, it looks like a, a blondish looking color, but it looks silver as well, according to what I could see. <laughs> but I at least tried um i guess get it next time and see what i see if i could do it better and uh go from there i don't know exactly if how much yeah how much i may have to buy a new bottle i don't know um we are trying to do what we can how we can in a way we can but um I wanted to try the new look, see what it looked like, and actually I kind of like it. Uh, the mohawk isn't quite all the way straight, but it's there. Um, I wanted to show you people that when you see this, it is good to go. And I'm going to keep my word. I mean, I did try with the sinful silver, and it, I guess it didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to work out. And I mean, it wasn't much hair to do, so... But anyway, um, my wife gave me some uh, shampoo to use later. Um, this is what it was supposed to look like right here. So I guess in kind of a way it did come out like it was supposed to. In kind of a way. Yeah, it did. So um, a big shout out to everybody. Um, Omar, Tim um everybody who subscribed to my channel a big shout out hello um i want to say thank you for uh subscribing to my show 
Um, Jennifer's in the back. She's trying to get some things taken care of. Say her right there. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, we are little bit late. Yeah, we are needing some. Um, we are needing some money bad, and uh, to try to get this. I, I've got to get this thing put into a shop really quick. Everybody, I've made a decision um, after I get this thing fixed in sort of a way to get it running at least where it won't overheat. I've made a decision. I'm just going to uh, whatever money is donated to here, uh, if I can reach 100K uh, subscribers and viewers, um, I can get, you know, whatever I can get in a way to get an RV. I'm just going to go ahead and buy an RV and... Uh, probably just give this into somebody or however it goes I don't know yet but I am to, I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase an RV and uh, do what I got to do from there um, Jennifer's doctor came through today um, I wasn't able to film it because my phone's been dead basically since yesterday and I was I'm just now getting to where I can actually film a little bit and uh, yeah I mean at least we're trying hand me that blue container please no not that one the one I gave you the, with water in it oh. oh thank you here's your lid but um yeah this is the instructions to the hair dye right here um anyway guys listen i appreciate like i said i appreciate all the ones who did subscribe to my channel i really do and i know there uh i know that you are um trying to but i'm gonna be honest with you guys i've been in a um i've been down in the dumps today um a lot of things i'm trying to change you know I'm trying to try new. I'm trying to uh, try new things uh, to make it more interesting for the video, so you people could see that I am trying to do something that's a little bit more interesting for for my viewers. Um, I am trying to uh, make it successful to where it uh, goes out and it shows people that hey, listen, he's trying to make it more interesting, and I want to do that because I, I know you people uh, that are watching uh, my show like like that. Um, I know just coming up, uh, pay, uh, Jennifer and I had agreed that we're going to uh, upgrade our premium channel. Um, we're going to pay, pay for a, even, uh, higher premium, ch premium channel to make it more successful. Um, I mean, I, I honestly don't know what to say to get you guys to see that I am trying here. I'm, you know, I'm trying to make it more interesting hair dye. That's what I'm saying. Leave me comments and everything. I know I got my comment thing open to where you can leave comments now. Leave me comments. Let me know what I should do. Or if you wish, if you wish, you know, my phone number is 415-680-4195. Just text me and leave me comments through my texting. And uh, let me know. Give me ideas on what you think it should be. Uh, what you would like to see me do. Um... Wear on girly clothes? No, I will not do. I will tell you that right now. I'm not going to do that. Um, I am dealing with like hair dye or something like that. Or, you know, something that's uh, make it make the TV, uh, make uh, my, uh, my show a little bit more interesting. To make the uh, directors or uh, pre the produ uh, producers, sorry, I'm trying to speak, of, uh, of uh, people who... Uh, do TV shows and movies and things like that to make it more interesting for them as well. You know, that way they'll see that I'm willing to go the distance of what it takes to um, to get what needs to be done and to make the show more satisfying to people and to get more viewers. Um, I want this to be successful. I want this to be in there. I want this to be if something doesn't happen soon, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have to stop doing the shows, and I really don't want to do that. I, this is my dream. I want to be seen. I want my family to be seen. You know, um, yeah. 
And I think next time this happens right here and we do get it and I get a little bit more hair, I think next time I may just uh, video me doing it and that way you people could see, wow. <laughs> um, but I did leave a video about what my... Um, up under my hood, it sounded like making that clicking sound and stuff, and it's going tick 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 tick, like like a back to back type thing in a more speedy type mode. Um, I am, uh, I was not lying about that, and if any of you seen that, you saw that I am not lying about that. What I say, I'm going to do. I'm going to do, and um, honestly, I'd rather do it to where you people could see. Um. We haven't heard, actually, we haven't, uh, we had like a, maybe a small snack or something like that right there. That's about it. We haven't eaten nothing today. Uh, we just haven't felt like it. That's how bad we've been feeling. You know, we we're right now we're at the point to where we just feel like that, that nobody, that nobody's wanting to do anything. Uh, I seriously, seriously, seriously need this to go out. I want this to be successful. Um, if this, nothing starts happening, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, my dream is to get paid doing things like this right here. My dream is to get uh, make it uh, a better life. You know, and I want uh, um, I want the producers out there to see that you know who I am is who I am. And um, as far as doing something like uh, committing crimes and things like that, I will not do to try to get into TV shows. But uh, things that are decent, I am willing to go to de I am willing to go to distance that I need to do that's legal and um, for my family and for my family only. I will not uh, <laughs> take advantage of people. I'm gonna tell you now, I will not. Um, <laughs> I want people to enjoy what I do, how I do, and the way I do it. Um, and when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. It's just taking time, people. You know, um, once I start uh, getting that money coming in, flowing in, I could do more for you guys. I could start doing, performing more <laughs> for you guys. Um, but you have to understand I can't do it with the limited money, with the limited uh, amount of money that I got coming in. I need people to start bringing in form, uh, help me bring in by donating what they can until at least something happens or uh, a producer picks up my TV show and wants to do uh, more of a filmmaking on me with films, with actual camera people around me uh, to do this for my YouTube, to put it on TV for people to see, you know, what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do. Um, I want my show to be more like... Um, you know, like what they do when they film uh, 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 actors or something like that to talk about who they are or like uh, what Omar Gosh is doing when he goes out and he uh, films uh, or, you know, uh, like, they, like these TV shows for people who are filming about their life, what they do on everyday basis at home, things like that. I want people to see and I and I hate expressing this so much. It, it gets irritating that I want people to see from where we are now to one day you see us actually moving into an apartment to living a better life, to having more income coming in, uh, to having a, a more of a newer updated working proper vehicle. Uh, but for right now, I want to work on upgrading to like an RV, uh, a newer RV and get rid of this thing, period. And just to give it to somebody once in, once it's in a little bit working condition and I will film all that. You know, giving it to somebody, giving them the key, everything like that. I'm going to have to go online, get this thing, totally put in my name. I've got the title to it. I haven't got put in my name yet. Um, and once I get that taken care of, I could transfer it to somebody. I'm just going to get temp tags on it. That's it. Um, and then once I get it put in my name and I get the RV, I will go online and start uh, doing it online with that as well. Now, with that being said... I need you guys to see that what I say and what I mean, I mean is, uh, I mean seriousness. I want to change. I want to see changes. I want you guys to see changes in our life, how we do things, how we perform, 
how we talk, how we get along, you know, uh, in, in different in uh, different other situations as well. You know, even if I have to sit here and film me and Jennifer talking, if I have to start doing it that way for you to see exactly what we go through out here, how she feels on certain days, uh, to uh, you know, of her being argumentative, saying all kinds of stuff. If I have to do that right there and start filming it. And letting you people see that, you know, being out here is hurting us. It's hurting our marriage. It's hurting the way we do things. It's literally getting us to the point to where we're starting to, we, we want to give, we would just want to say, screw it, you know. And, and we, but I can't go through that. I got kids, guys. And I want my babies back. Earlier today, I almost laid right here, so sad and so upset that I screw. I was I was considering on literally giving my wife up to someone that could take better care of her than I can. You know, I I'm just uh, people. God gave me this family. Come on, now you gotta have sympathy about that kind of stuff. If any of you are family, if any of you have family, any of you men have family or women have family, see it from my point of view on this. I, how would you feel if you, you're you're in a point like this and then all of a sudden it just, you've been out here for so many years, it seems like nothing is changing. Nobody wants to help out. You know, the only thing they're helping out with is giving you a little bit of money here for food and a little bit of money there for food. Or however it goes, but it, it just it, it's not making any drastic change. Like hey, um, you know, my wife has got her disability, and it's not very much, probably a thousand uh, one hundred and thirty-three dollars. Maybe I don't, I don't know exactly if it's going to stay like that, but possibly that we can't even get a motel room anymore because uh, of what's going on. But there's one motel that I could try. And, but I'll have to put it on a, probably on a prepaid debit card and um, the like 300 something dollars to get at least three nights worth inside the room and and, and and go from there. But it's still all on the same fact. People, you know, I might even consider if y'all really want this, you've got my number on here. Text me. Let me know. I'll even buy a hotel room or a hotel to run, to let you guys see, I will do what it takes. But I need the money to start coming in and to where we can do this. And the only way that's gonna happen is if one is donations start coming in to start seeing these updates happen, because I can't do it by myself, seriously. You know, uh, Tim, he's on Instagram. You know, uh, if he doesn't mind, he could put a video on Instagram of him talking about us when he sees this. And he could tell you guys that we are actually, he, me and him video chatted. And he sees, he's seen with his own eyes. Uh, this is serious. His father has got double pneumonia. You know, he's got a GoFundMe going up about us. And, and quite frankly, you know, I think he put, I, need to, I think he needs to put a two of them up. Um, one about us and one about his dad, even though his dad has insurance and stuff like that. But still, it'll help him with his bills. It'll help him keep money in his pocket. It'll help him with gas to take back and forth. It'll help him with food and other, and still have plenty of money to put back and, and save, you know, possibly even just to, uh, if they don't already own their own home, do it that way, which is something that we want to do as well. You know, we want to own our own home. And uh, that one thing I told you about this piece of property over here with the uh, airplane thing, front end of an airplane, I'll do that. But I've got to get this income coming in. I've got to get you people to see I'm doing everything I can, going the distance in every way I can, you know. Um, but right now, with this weather going on like I like it is right now, you know, it looks like it's about to just storm anytime. I can't go any further than whatever. And the wind is cold. It's co it's getting cold in here. I can't even close the back windows. 
and I don't know exactly uh, how we're going to uh, do that. I don't have heater in this van. I, I can't even start it. Nothing. It's, it's, it's gotten that bad to where it literally, where I'm needing warmer clothes. Not like warm clothes like Wyoming, Montana type warmer clothes. I mean warmer clothes to where we can at least uh, do what we need to do and stay warm. Or somehow, you know, get uh, a uh, propane or butane or a propane type heater, um, indoor safety type uh, propane type heater to where we can at least uh, keep it warm in here for us. You know, that way, while the windows are open, it'll put a, a lot of the uh, uh, um, the smell or uh, the the gases that goes in, that goes in. It, it puts a lot of that out. You know, some of the heat will start going outwards, and uh, but it'll keep it warm in here as well. To where I don't have to wear this all the time. You know, um, I, I I can't I can't express this too much. Um, let me see your medications, honey. Or did you get, did you put them up already? No, just give me a second to think, man. Uh, uh yeah, just give her a, a couple of uh, seconds, everybody. Oh, uh, here's two of them. Okay, mm. this is two of the medications that she got today. This and this. Uh, she also got a heart medication as well. This is, uh, Albuterol and, uh, Adbear, uh, 500 over 50. Here you go, honey. Uh, if you can't find it, that's fine. Oh. that one. Okay, here you go. And uh, here is this one right here. I believe this is her heart medication right here. And you could see uh, exactly what it is. And yes, there is a... Uh, tablets in there as you uh, 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 as you could see that's for her heart medication um here you go honey um mm -hmm. we just you know th these are the things that's going on and living in this condition is not good for her so and here's my lasix oh and her lasix this right here is a water pill it, 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 it helps her pee a lot, or should I say, <laughs> in a funny phrase, wee-wee! <laughs> but um, this makes her wee-wee! And, and gets a lot of that fluid out of her stomach and around her, uh, around her heart area. Here you go. I just, I, I can't, I can't, like I said, I can't keep stressing it enough. I've got to get this done. Um, this is the first part. I told you I would do it. I did it. Even though it don't look silver, um, it kind of a way it does. I, and there's spots that I've missed on here. And I see that. That right there is a sore. I've got sores on my head, literally, you know, because of being out here for so long. Um, I want all this gone. I want to be able to live a normal life. I want to be able to have something more simple. And people, I, I want this to be my job. I want you people to watch us on how we do things, how we take care of ourselves, you know, our normal day life and see if it improves where we're actually going better places to other beaches here in San Francisco, uh, filming on Gold Gate Bridge, uh, filming going to Alcatraz, filming uh, going to other famous places or walking through a park while I put or while she's riding on an electric wheelchair if she is able to get one. Um, I want us to, uh, I want to make this, I want to make these videos a little bit more interesting. Um, I want to start doing some of the things that Omar Gosh is doing, you know, but I got to be able to get, I have more of a re more reliable vehicle to get to these places because I really and truly don't want to take the bus. These buses around here in San Francisco drive like bat maniacs. And it's just wow, yeah, it's 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 that bad. I mean, like horrible, out of this world. Wow, we. It'll make a person to think twice. What the first time they get on a but one of these buses here, if you're not from California, it'll make a person think twice on getting one of these buses again. Like I'd rather walk five miles. 
No, or I, I'd rather walk 10 miles, or I'd rather take an, uh, these Ubers and uh, taxis drive like lunatics. Hell yeah, I, I would. It, it's that, just, man. it's just, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I've literally seen these buses and these double buses cut these quarters like uh, they're in a racetrack. <laughs> You know, and these people around here driving. Oh, wow, holy sh whoa. They'll pull into a park spot. Just like that. They don't take their time and try to pull in. Like, ah, uh -uh, you ain't getting my spot. That's mine. Mine, 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 mine. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Come on, people. That's like uh, Mr. Grinch on uh, uh, on crack. <laughs> Jesus! Why me? I'm sitting here and I'm pulling into a park. And I'm seeing someone. I got, I'm expecting it one day to. Oh shit! I'm in the store. Oh well, I'll park. Go grocery shopping. Uh, dude, what have you been smoking? And I don't want any. No, thank you. You need to go get yourself some mental therapy. You know, help get off what you're on. That kind of thing. It's like being on a plane and you're seeing somebody doing this. And all you're hearing. And you're seeing him doing this number right, right there. What the fuck? No. I mean, really? Seriously? What is he having to do? What is he having? A twitch effect because he's on a plane? Or did he get a hold of something that made him twitch like that? And as soon as he sat down, he like. Wow. What in the world? Good googly moogly. Okay, here's another thing. The van. Uh, the guy I bought it from, Ocean Beach Cafe, which is not even a half a block away. Not, not, probably not even that. You got the Safeway, and then you got the little bus depot right here, and then you got a little apartment complex and uh, uh, another apartment with businesses down below. Okay? Ocean Beach Cafe. I bought this from him three years ago. He only told me like two or three things that was wrong with it. Okay? We find out there's more wrong with it than he says. So I sent him a text message saying, this is going to happen. If you don't get in contact with me uh, by today, I sent him the text message <clears throat> yesterday sometime before I was able to lose uh, contact of everything. Phone's going off and everything. And I specifically told him. If you do not get in contact, come down here and talk with me about what's going on and about the situation, what kind of deal we can work out, what was going to happen. Well, I'm in the process of trying to find an attorney that can take him to court, get the money back that I paid for the van, which is $300, plus, plus the money back for the parts that I had to buy for the van out of her disability to replace parts that he did not do totally neglected to do it i had to replace the water pump i had to replace the alternator thermostat. i had to replace the thermostat which he did not tell me was not in there um i got a heater core in here or should i got a heater core that i gotta put in here front brakes front brakes i gotta get put on probably a front rotor on the passenger side I got the head gaskets. I have not yet been able to put on, and it's been with us for about three years, and more. No telling what else is wrong. So it's probably going to be a lot cheaper just to buy a new one, but I want to somewhat get this kind of fixed a little bit and probably donate it to somebody that uh, needs a somewhat better of a vehicle to get around here in San Francisco, you know, if they're not planning on leaving town at all. But... All at the same time, it'll be up to them to get it finished, fixed all the way. I just want to get an RV to start out with as a more upgrade to be able to get where I could drive around 
I won't have to worry about cops running me off because it'll be a newer model. Um, it'll be it'll be a lot better condition, and there'll be nothing wrong with it. I'll have a generator for electricity, water pumps for uh, to take showers and so forth. Um, yes, probably uh, get a, a, a possible TV to where we can watch television if we wanted if we decided we want to watch television. Um, but I want to get it to where it's running on two separate tanks, one for the fuel as for the motor and one a tank for the fuel as for the uh, generator. Uh, and, you know, make it more simple for us, you know, to where she ain't got to worry about, you know, uh, how much gas do we got left over. And even though it may be a big old huge gas tank, still it doesn't matter. I want to get it to where each has got their own tank. Uh, we got a refrigerator that works that we could put meats and stuff like that in to keep it cool and, and much, much more. We could actually sleep in the same bed together uh, while having me sleep up front and her sleep in the back. Having to worry about no mice because there are there is a really, pardon my French on this, a really smart ass mouse in this damn uh, um, van. And I mean smart. I got a black cat thing that I got it here for the mouse to uh, chew on. And guess what? He's so smart. He sees it, he runs the other way. He like, screw you. I've tried the sticky things to where they run, when they run in it, they stick in it. Hell no. That didn't work. And this little black cat thing's a little box with a lid on, a clear lid, and where they go in a hole and chew on this, nibble on this bar, and I think it's poison. He barely nibbled on it. He barely nibbled on it. Barely. Not even enough, probably just enough to make him sick. That's it. And... I really don't want to even try to get a mouse trap like one of the, the old ones, because I, if he sees that, he might. Ain't no telling how smart this damn thing is. If he's outsmart and knows, then he's gonna outsmart that. So my best suggestion is just do what I got to do with it. You just don't realize the kind of hell I go through with this mouse. This mouse is like mind blowing, but. Uh, the, my battery's sitting right here. I'm charging, uh, my other phone with it, and, uh, I got, like, 27%, so that's probably gonna do, probably good enough for me for right now on that one, so, uh, I'm putting it up under here, put your, uh, or do you want to just hand me the phone? So, I'm just trying to get charges on our phones long enough to be able to take care of what we need to take care of. And, uh, yeah, I go from there. So, I got that one's got 27%. But um, <laughs> I got another battery that's in here. Uh, I think it's bad, honestly. Um, so uh, I got these. I got this thing that someone gave to me, and <coughs> it connects to the battery, and it has a little booster, see, right here, and it connects to the battery itself because it's got these little pinchers, like claws, on it, where it connects to the posts. But I want to get it to where I, I want to get another brand spanking new battery. To where I can use one for the vehicle and one for this, uh, one for uh, to charge things up, and just uh, have like a, a little power box or a generator until we can get or, or some way something. But I need ideas on what to do. Again, my number is four one five six eight zero forty one ninety five. You do not have to leave your name or anything like that right there. Just say, hey, I'm a YouTube viewer. I watch your channel. Uh, I have a comment on an idea that you can do to try to get yourself uh, into this situation. Or if you want to donate, hey, my, uh, uh, hey.